Hi, in this video I am going to explain graphical solution of linear inequalities in two variables. That is, here we have two variables like for example 2x plus 3y less than or equal to 10. This is known as the linear inequalities in two variables where we have x as well as y. So now let us see how we can represent this on the graph. See, whenever we consider a Cartesian plane, the plane we can divide into two parts, x-axis as well as y-axis. So, x, x dash, negative axis, y, the negative y-axis is represented as y dash. Now here, whenever we have a linear inequalities in two variables, when we try to locate the points on the graph, always we get a straight line. Suppose, let us say that the straight line is over here for some linear inequality. Then, we can divide the plane into two parts. That is, we can say this one as a right half plane and this one as a left half plane. The partition may be not equal, but this will go up to minus infinity. This will go up to plus infinity. So, we divide this into two parts, right half plane and left half plane. Or suppose, if the line is uh, over here, particular uh, straight line is the located over here then we can divide that into a upper half plane and lower half plane and based on this we can uh, decide the points as well as solution of the linear inequality so now let us see how to represent that see i have taken an inequality 10x plus 5y less than or equal to 10 uh, 30 the first step is here you have to find the solution for this uh, linear inequality so convert this into a equality statement so i am converting this into a equality statement next step is take x equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 separately and find the solution so if i put x equal to 0 in this equation then i get the y value that is 6 and if i put y is equal to 0 here then i get the x value that is 3 see now here we got two solution x is equal to 0 y is equal to 6 and x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 0. So, based on these two solutions, try to locate the line on the graph. So, here we have 0, 6. 0, 6 means this point. 0, 3 means this point. So, just uh, join these two points. So, we get a straight line. So, this straight line represents 10x plus 5y is equal to 30. This line. So, now we have to see that uh, whether we have to shade which area. We have the inequality less than or equal to 30. So, we need to find the shaded region for this inequality. So, to find that, uh, just take the inequality and uh, put x equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 in the inequality. So, we have the inequality 10x plus 5y less than or equal to 30. In this, put x equal to 0 and y is equal to 0. Why I am taking 0, 0? Because uh, 0, 0 means it is the origin point. So, it's very easy to uh, find the shaded region if you take 0, 0. But in some cases, the line may pass through the origin itself. In that case, you can't take the 0, 0 point. You can take any point. It may be over the upper half plane or lower the uh, lower half plane point. By taking that point, you can check the inequality. So now here, the line is located over here. So that's why I'm taking 0, 0. If I put here 0, 0, I get 10 into 0 plus 5 into 0 less than or equal to 30. That's 0 less than or equal to 30 c 0 less than or equal to 30 means that is a true inequality so whenever when you check this these values if you get true that means you have to shade the region that is towards the origin see i have taken the point 0 0 and for that point i got true that means our shaded region 0 0 is located over here so the shaded region is this side suppose if you get here false for this point then you have to shade this area let us say that you have here uh, like uh, 10x plus uh, 5y is greater than or equal to 30. In this case, if I put here x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0, we get here 0 is uh, greater than or equal to 30. See, this is a false inequality. I have taken 0, 0 point and for that I got false. So, if you get false, then you have to shade this area, not this region. So, based on that, uh, you can find out the shaded region. So, this is about the graphical solution of linear inequalities in two variables. So, to check that whether it is a true inequality or false inequality you have to take any point on the graph see generally we take 0 0 because using 0 0 it's very easy to check the inequality but sometimes sir, the line may pass through the origin in that case you can't take 0 0 point instead of that you can take any point on the upper half plane or lower half plane if you like this video please like and subscribe thanks for watching